From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Our phones and various other devices are causing poor posture as users are spending one to three hours each day hunched over their phones, and that's leading to back and spine problems. We're actually turning into a society of mindless walkers. How long before we start craving brains? Donnie Wahlberg paid it forward recently to a waitress at a North Carolina Waffle House. The new Kids on the Block star left a $2,000 tip on an $82 bill at the Waffle House in Charlotte. Wahlberg wrote on Facebook, My mom waited tables and my dad tended bar for years, so when I walk into a Waffle House and the staff treats me like a, ki like a king, you better believe I treat them like queens. I I'm sure he meant that better than it came out, though. John Mellencamp's son, Speck, was arrested for public intoxication and fighting in Indiana on Saturday night. He fights authority, but authority always wins. The marital bed, once a symbol of holy matrimony, may someday be a relic of the past. Nearly 25 percent of married couples in the United States now sleep in separate beds, according to the National Sleep Foundation. Separate sleeping arrangements they are so popular that the National Association of Home Builders says it expects 60 percent of custom homes to have dual master bedrooms by this year. Barbara Tober, the former chairwoman of the Museum of Arts and Design, told the New York Times recently that not, when, not that we don't love each other, but at a certain point you just want to have your own room. Well, well, yeah, I mean, with the snoring, the hogging of the covers, the cold feet, the passing of gas, of course you'd want to get away from that. And, and that's just talking about the family dog. Former middleweight boxing champion Jermaine Taylor has been arrested after allegedly biting a woman's arm and face and threatening to kill her. Well, of course he's a former boxing champion. Now he can't even beat up a girl without biting her. Two adult men drowned in the Anguazi River in Africa while they were being baptized. Victory Christian Center pastor Samuel Kamingwa later said, following the incident, we've agreed on some measures that will ensure the safety of our followers during baptism in the rivers. Kamingwa added that churches were considering increasing the number of ministers at baptisms. They'd also only baptize one person at a time, while others are kept at a safe distance and will choose a, a time when the water is calm enough for the ritual. Last year, six children died during an early morning baptism in a stream, and in January 2015, two elderly Pentecostal church pastors drowned in a river in South Africa where they had gone to baptize four junior church members. This is truly a sad story, but do these people not realize you can baptize other places? Like swimming pools, big bathtubs, a pond? A woman trying to smuggle electronics into China was caught. She had 102 smartphones and 15 luxury watches strapped to her body. Airport security first became suspicious when she said, I'll be back, in an Austrian accent. As their wives and girlfriends know all too well, guys like to make a big fuss when they're feeling under the weather. And <laughs> don't we all? Well, now scientists are saying that man flu may not be a myth and that guys really do get illnesses worse than gals. It's all because women have a more powerful immune system than men thanks to their hormones. Now, I don't know if this is actually true, but I am certainly going to claim it the next time I get the sniffles. Finland has set the world record for the largest group of skinny dippers. 789 people went swimming naked for five minutes. Now, if you're thinking about breaking the record, there you go. 789 people swimming naked for five minutes. Although there is speculation that half of those swimmers were just director Michael Moore taking a beach vacation. An Israeli student whose grandparents survived the Holocaust has admitted to stealing items from the Auschwitz death camp for an art project. Rodem Bides visited the former Nazi Germany camp in Poland several times and removed items, including a sign forbidding people from taking anything. But perhaps most ironic of all, she says she did it to fight Holocaust deniers. The Auschwitz uh, Birkenau Museum called the acts outrageous and demanded the objects return. More than a million people, mostly Jews, were killed at Auschwitz during World War II. The objects from Auschwitz, which also include shards of glass, small bowls, a metal screw, and soil, they formed part of the 27-year-old's final project. Perhaps even more outrageous, Vide's supervisor at, Bur at uh, Beit Burl College, the Israeli artist Michael Naman, 
said that she did not see anything wrong with what Vides had done, adding, "...the way I see it, she succeeds in creating a unique encounter between art and an event that has passed and has been wrapped in a lot of words, symbols, and representations." So apparently Israeli colleges don't have ethics classes. Rosie O'Donnell has created an uproar by promoting an online game where players can push Donald Trump off a cliff. Somewhere, Kathy Griffin is saying, "...thank you, Rosie." Police in suburban Cleveland say a fast-food restaurant customer, angry about the way his sandwich tasted and looked, threatened to shoot somebody over it. Police say the 20-year-old man complained that the egg on his sandwich at a Steak and Shake was runny and slimy and looked like spit. You know the best way to ensure that you will get spit on your sandwich? Threaten the staff with a gun, saying it looks like spit is in your sandwich. Trust me, you are not going to want what comes back to you in that sandwich. Grapes and the wine made from them can help protect your skin from sun damage. According to researchers at the University of Barcelona, the flavonoids in grapes can stop the chemical reaction that causes skin to die. Says biochemist Maria Cascante, who directed the study, this supports the idea of using these products to protect the skin from cell damage and death caused by solar radiation. This works because if you drink enough wine, you just have zero desire to leave the house. A flood has destroyed all the cash in a safe at Fox River State Bank in Wisconsin. So you name the bank after a river, your bank is located right on the bank of said river, and you're surprised you get flood damage? A woman in Taiwan divorced her husband after he kept ignoring her text messages. You know, I'm having a hard time seeing who the winner is in this story. The woman who got away from her apathetic husband or the husband who got away from the woman who wouldn't stop texting him a hundred times a day. The study suggests that sleepwalking is apparently a surprisingly common phenomenon in American households. Scientists from Stanford University School of Medicine found that about 3.6 percent of U.S. adults are prone to sleepwalking, which is a higher proportion than previously thought. Nocturnal wandering is also tied to certain psychiatric conditions such as depression, anxiety, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. And getting gooned out on Ambien. Good news, people with broken hearts! Stalking of your ex on Facebook is totally normal. A study reveals that 88 percent of spurned lovers track their exes on Facebook, and 31 percent of respondents have changed their profile picture in an attempt to make their exes jealous. And it is good to know social media has brought out the responsible adult in all of us, isn't it? Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!